All right, well, an interesting twist on a long-running saga. Last Friday, the town of Mammoth Lakes, according to a press release, received notice from the United States District Court, Northern California District, that Judge Candace A. Westmore has filed an order to dissolve a 2003 injunction related to environmental documentation at Mammoth Yosemite Airport. That press release from the town of Mammoth Lakes notes this is a milestone in the town's effort to move forward with preliminary design of much needed improvements. Press release says that on February 3rd, 2016, the town council convened an airport workshop in which a proposed project to plan, design and construct a new three gate terminal and associated aircraft parking apron was described. Now, the lifting of the injunction will afford the town to the discretion to move forward with its plans to begin the necessary environmental work required to construct a new terminal facility at the Mammoth Yosemite Airport. Press release says the town of Mammoth Lakes will now work closely with the FAA to prepare the appropriate level of environmental documentation in accordance with NEPA and California Environmental Quality Act requirements. Now, the CEQA documentation is the town's responsibility. Town and FAA staff will be reviewing the requirements and the overall process in the coming weeks. Press release notes that the Town of Mammoth Lake staff will provide additional detail when it becomes available. And the press release also says the public can be assured that the town will implement a program that will include significant public outreach, workshops and meetings to ensure any interested parties have the appropriate opportunity to be heard on this significant project. Well, as we've been talking about, it is obviously Memorial Day week and the uh, weekend holiday coming up. Got the Mammoth Lakes Film Festival and the Bishop Mule Days celebration. Deb Murphy was at Mule Days this week and filed this story. The Mule Days organizers and staff executed a heroic marketing effort that launched the 2016 Mule Days attendance into the stratosphere, making the event the Super Bowl of Bishop. Staff credits a combination of trade show attendance, a social media campaign, and low gas prices. Or maybe it's just that as the world gets crazier, the draw is a whole bunch of people and mules from all over the country who, well, get along and enjoy themselves. Now, for those of people, including Deb Murphy, who have borne witness to Mule Days year after year, the draw is that combination of the people and their mules. Mule people aren't like horse people, Deb notes, they're more laid back. They appreciate the talent of the trainers, riders, and mules that consistently win. They reward effort as much as execution. They take the time to brag on their animals to total strangers. Example, baptized by Dirty Water was a double champion in 2015. If she'd been a horse instead of a 17-hand molly, her owner, Peggy Reed, would have had a suite somewhere. Instead, Reed and Bob Wanderley of Arizona have a motorhome west of the track with pink, fl pink flamingos in front and a huge dog named Axel. As for their mules, they're not so much stubborn as they are simply patient, giving their rider driver a chance to realize the animal is smarter than they are. Horses, poor creatures, must trust their rider. Mule people trust their mules. Now the best time to exper experience the real mule days is before all of the hoopla starts during the show classes that build up to Friday night. Fairground strollers can watch cowboy dressage, a, cow a combination of the exacting discipline of dressage and trail work. They can watch mule days veterans like Bruce Klein prep his Molly Rosie for the driving classes, helped out by his high school buddy Chuck Levin. They can see the relationship between kids and animals as a three-year-old from Utah curries her three-year-old donkey. Then there are the volunteers, a cast of thousands, who show up each year to do everything, like Allie Patterson in her sixth year helping put the obstacle course for the Gambler's Choice driving classes. A lot of the original organizers are still on site, but now their children and grandchildren are doing the heavy lifting. Now you all know the drill, lots of mules, food, concert, dances, raucous mule stuff mixed in with elegant mule stuff, kid things, packers, running amok. But the coolest thing is always the mule and his people. Thank Deb Murphy for that story. And we urge you to see muledays.org for all of the information on this week's festivities.
And the second annual Mammoth Lakes Film Festival begins today, running through Sunday. Let's take a look at another trailer. پسر مثلا منو میخره به خاطر پای منو دادین کارو میکنه برو شب اگر بچه آدم نون ندیش باشم آدم بیدون میشه چرا بیدون میشه؟ این به خاطر چرا اگر اپل میگه بیچاره کنی بعد برد کنی که پیاده آمد بود و پیاده هم میروم تلسم قربت میشم شکسته میشه سفره خیلی هشم دیگه بسته میشه کسی که از این کسی مدسه محروم بود میره کمیلی خمود همه جون بود میره All right, you can see mammothlakesfilmfestival.com for all of the showing, schedule of events, and information for the second annual Mammoth Lakes Film Festival. Now, a lot of folks will be out and about, obviously, this holiday weekend. We urge people to please drive safely, don't drink and drive, and we'll note that the Bishop Area CHP will be conducting a sobriety checkpoint this Friday in Inyo County. CHP press release notes the tra traffic volume permitting all vehicles will be checked for drivers who are under the influence of alcohol and or drugs. The CHP objective is to send a clear message to those individuals that mixing alcohol and or drugs while driving will not be tolerated. The CHP seeks to enhance highway safety by apprehending and the impaired driver. So let's be cool out there and don't forget Eastern Sierra Transit has plenty of buses getting everyone around town safely. Some great folks drive those buses. Uh, you might want to get on one of the mule shuttles and the phone number for the dial a ride. Again, you don't want to drink and drive 760-873-7173. And you can check out the website estransit.com for all of the schedules and information. We'll be back with more news.